Welcome Ben Jones to the Tennessee Titans, former Houston Texan, and I guess always a Georgia Bulldog. Darn right. Go right. dogs. All right, so question becomes that I think a lot of people have right off the bat is, how hard is it to leave one AFC South team and decide to join another one? How difficult is that? It was a difficult process. Um, you play against the other teams twice a year. You kind of have a little grit about yourself when you're going against you. It's a division game. You take pride in that in the division. And having the battles you have every year in Tennessee, Jacksonville, and Indy, it's, it's definitely you look forward to those games because it means something. And just being to join up with this organization and their mindset that they're building here, they're going to be a physical team that's going to run the ball. I said, I want to be a part of this. We've got one of the best running backs, young quarterback who's, who's one of the best in the league I, in my eyes. And I, was, I just said, I want to be a part of this. And I was just happy to join on. Was there any one thing that put Tennessee over the top in the decision-making process? One thing that sealed it? When that trade went through with the Eagles, I was like, hey, I want a guy that's going to run the ball like that that's behind us. Because that's how we look good and perform. You have a guy that's going to make plays and get in the end zone. And his style of running, just I was like, I want to be a part of this. Physical has always been your game. That's how you jumped in the Georgia lineup just three games into your freshman year. Started 48 games there. Everybody knew when you came into the league as a fourth round draft pick, that was what your game was about. I might not be the most athletic guy, but you know what you're going to get from me every day. I'm going to bust it and no matter what, you're going to get my all in every play. But you're more athletic than what you're giving credit for because I, I, I know your history out of Bibb County. Very good baseball player. Right. Sometimes offensive linemen kind of get that reputation, right. and that's not entirely fair. Right. I grew up on a farm, so my older brother was way more athletic than me. He was quarterback, got drafted out of high school in baseball. So I always had somebody to compete against. So I probably didn't think I was as athletic as I was because he was always better. But I grew up wrestling, playing basketball. That's how you get more athletic is doing other instead of just football. And sometimes you didn't have a great 40 time at the combine. And that, and that kind of maybe <laughs> pigeonholed you a little bit. When do I ever run 40 yards? <laughs> if I'm fast for 10, that's all I need. That's all you need to do. They got to do the rest after that. All right, so you're you're known as a guy who tends to be a little bit out there, barefoot on the field right. before the games. You're not afraid to take any sort of dare. Uh, does that does that end somewhere, or or is that a reputation you embrace? Well, it depends on what it is. It's all for fun and stuff. I, but when it comes down to it, um, I mean business. When I step on the field, that's just kind of to break the ice and. Let them know, hey, I'm a country guy who knows how to have fun off the field, but when it's time to play and suit up, I'm all business. For, for how you conduct yourself and how much you, you seem to enjoy life and for how much you enjoy the game, I just wondered how much of that is directly related to the fact that you lost your dad when you were, you were 10 years old. Does it make you embrace life and everything you do even more? Definitely. Losing my dad at 10 years old in a helicopter crash, it definitely opened up my eyes and not having that father figure. I really relied on my older brother who was the rock in our family. And I wore number 60 growing up and did that all the way through high school. Got to college and I already had it. So I wore 61 for three years and that was one of the big reasons why, besides my wife. That's why I stayed in Georgia for my fourth year to get to wear number 60. Because I wanted to honor him and I've been blessed to wear it for four years. So I might get to wear it here, but we'll see. I know somebody's got it, so I know how this works and everything. but. He was a main part of my life, and I go out there and honor him every way I can. And that's how you got from Bibb County, Alabama, 25 miles away from Tuscaloosa, to right. Georgia was because right. of your dad. My dad went to Georgia, and that was the way I wanted to honor him because he meant so much to me. And no matter what Alabama had over there, I had it since I was 10 years old. That's where I was going. All right, so now you've got a Georgia kid who played at Alabama, Chance Warmack. Right playing next to an Alabama kid who played at Georgia. How's that going to work? It's going to be great. Chance is a good player. He's a physical guy, and I was like, man, this dude can come off the ball, and he's gonna be, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. So the bottom line is you think you're part, part of something special here, and that's why you're so excited to be here. Definitely. We're building something that's going to be great. We've got one of the best in, in the league behind us at running back. We're going to have a physical offensive line, and we're going to go out there and take care of business. More SEC? Darn right. All right. Ben Jones, Georgia Bulldog, and now Tennessee Titan offensive lineman joining us here at TitansOnline.com.